Hello, it's Susan Dunlop here. I am a personal and professional coach and also a certified facilitator of the three vital questions. Um, before I get started, I have actually got a saxophonist living next door. So if you, if you can hear just that little bit of saxophone going, that's the way I live. Um, I just thought I'd take a moment to introduce my new work because I've evolved from having been a CEO of a large company to being a life coach to being you know, what? And people sort of go, so what did you do? Did you retire? Um, so I didn't retire and I'm doing what I'm absolutely passionate about now in terms of the people that I'm coaching. It's actually about the work I'm doing, not who I am. So I thought I would just introduce the idea of what the facilitation is, as well as obviously how that complements um, the work I do as a coach and also who it's for. So the work is, as I said, three vital questions and it's applying the power of TED, um, which is TED is the empowerment dynamic to work and life. It's work that sort of fits in nicely. It complements my personal and professional coaching. I coach leaders and teams. And by leaders, I don't just mean business leaders. I mean people who are choosing to lead by example, lead from the front to set an example for their families or others in how to lead in life, uh, whether that be at work or other important relationships, because we're, we are many roles, we're not just one. So what right now, um, it's February 2022, and we're still in a bit of the current of drama and anxiety and reaction. Um, exhaustion still flowing, and then there's now the COVID-19 um, extra exhaustion on top of that that's been impacting people. And people are still feeling a little bit worn down. You know, those um, lockdowns really took their toll on Melbourne and New South Wales people uh, that I'm speaking to. So, yeah, so we're still all maybe feeling a little bit like we're spinning in circles and not quite sure what our visions are and whether visions are even realistic compared to how we used to be able to dream up a dream and make them happen. So the facilitated learning I'm offering, it introduces outcomes-focused, passion fueled baby steps. So very simple, it's forward-focused and it's about being a creator mindset, which is you'll turn it to being a victim mindset. Um, I'll explain that in a moment. You know, and I was thinking, I was listening at the gym this morning, someone was telling me how they're on Wordle, and then I realised that they're not just meaning typing up Wordles, they're actually playing a game called Wordle. And um, I was thinking, oh, how could I actually describe a creator mindset and what it looks like if I had to do a Wordle, which I will create later. Um, and from a recent community of practice of the fellow trainers, the words that came up that described it is a creator, being a creator or coming from a creator mindset is energizing, it's awake, contagious, synchronistic, in tune with others and our emotions. It's calming and it's challenging and it awakens our curiosity. It's there's no judgment in it, so it's like coaching. So it's non-judgmental, empathetic, outcome focused, authentic, and joyful. So a creator assumes the best in others. It's we assume that every person has got a creator within them. Um, so it's changing that way we operate in terms of how we look at the people around us, um, thinking that they need rescuing or that they need to be told what to do. Uh, it's supporting them, cheering people on, cheering yourself on um, in a much more empowered way. So it's work that's really good to do on yourself first. And um, so it's really good if you're a leader of a business or of a, in a household, you're feeling like, you know, in that position as parent, if you do the work on yourself first, um, because you can just emulate the new way of being um, by way of example that way. Anyway, heart-centered, passionate and powerful. I forgot those words. Um, the training and facilitation, it's quite adaptable. Uh, in the way it's presented. So at the moment, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one sessions uh, just with private individuals. And they're both, at the moment, they're actually both parents of a few children and um, partners. So, you know, they're going to take it into their own lives and also sort of see how they as an employee can actually maybe bring it into their workplaces. So it's, um, it's a way to actually bring your team on board eventually. Like if you do it for you and then do it for your team, it's that sort of um, making a conscious shift of language and mindset and your focus, 
your meetings will become far more effective. The um, yeah, the tools that you can actually draw on and sort of you know sort of have a shared familiarity and go, oh, that's me doing that again. It just creates some levity, and then it means that you can just pause and then move forward to what you actually do want, not be stuck in the mud um, of drama that is so much of um, you know workplace or around our families. So in 2021, the reason why I am doing this work is I partnered with the Centre for the Empowerment Dynamic, um, who are the owners and founders of the work. And I'm the first Australian certified facilitator of the three vital questions and the power of TED. TED, T-E-D, is actually the empowerment dynamic, not TED Talks. Um, those two titles, the power of TED and the three vital questions, um, are actually book titles written by founder David Emerald. Uh, he now works in partnership with his wife, master coach, author and facilitator Donna Zajon. So I've studied and I trained with them um, most of last year in a, a one level and then I went in to do the coaching program and then the facilitation program having come from a background of being a CEO and a professionally trained coach um, and where I want to take this work. So what they do is they have actually created a, a coaching and training framework, which are the antidote to the drama triangle roles of victim, persecutor and rescuer, which is why I said victim earlier. So those drama triangle roles were first identified by Stephen Cartman um, in the 1960s. And David started doing the work on it after he came across a, um, an epiphany in his own life that he wanted to find the alternative to the victim role that he'd been finding himself playing. And he shifted into understanding that he actually had a creator role inside him and then you know, everything has turned from there. Um, it's been delivered by fellow trainers for at least 10 years over in the States. And it's been adopted by leaders and teams of like large tech companies and through universities. Um, some of the work is actually now part of curriculums of study at unis. It's right across small and large organisations. I've met many internal trainers as well as external trainers uh, through the community of practice I've become a part of. It's across professional legal practices, whole hospital groups, veterinary organisations, care service providers, um, oh, so many through the US, UK, Germany, and now also in India. And, you know, like, if you know me, I, as a former CEO of many people, uh, I think I, you know, I'd employed over 6,000 people in the time of owning RNS. This stuff is great. And I so wished I'd found it 10 years earlier. You know, like if I'd actually had, when I was in that space of personal and professional development, if I'd actually moved into this then, what I could have sold that company for would have been 10 times, I think, you know, if I'd actually not got stuck in the cycle of trying to put out drama spot fires and, you know, not get things right. You know, I'm, I'm honest, I don't get things right either. So um, what I did find interesting, again, like I, I approach all this training from a few roles, from being a coach and now obviously to bring this in as facilitation, but also with my old CEO hat on. And it was so good at the Centre's Summit for Trainers in December. One of the other, you know, absolutely extraordinary tra um, trainers there brought her CEO client in for us to um, hear being interviewed and for us to be able to ask questions. And I asked her, you know, what actually led him to bring the three vital questions into his, what was a minus $10 million company when he took over and has now turned it to a plus $100 million company. And he said, simply, he said, I was losing sleep. And he said, he just said that conventional seminars was all he really had available to him as a CEO. And he said, they don't help. And there is no one training people like him in this space. He said, he knows how to make money. He can make money, whatever happens, but people are another matter. And he said, oh, the training has repaid him a thousand times over. And he's talking absolutely massive organisation. It was so wonderful to actually speak to a, a live client about the, um, the positive impact it's had on all his people and the way he operates now as a leader, that he can actually now listen to his people and understand where they might be coming from rather than not. So, you know, that's just magic. So 
to me, I've used the three vital questions ever since I started learning about it. I, I started reading uh, David's books. You know, this is one of them. I've lent my Power of Ted book to one of my clients at the moment. Uh, I started using it uh, before I started doing the training last year. And it's a, really, it's a really interesting thing. It actually makes you go, oh, now I can see that's me doing that. It's not beating yourself up that you're doing it. You can actually now start to step and go, oh, that's interesting. I'm doing that. wonder what's making me do that. Okay, all right, and now think about what it is that you actually could focus on instead. Um, and it still takes practice, and um, David and Donna keep reiterating. It's simple, but not always easy. It does just take practice. So there are frameworks um, that facilitate a shift of mindset every single one of us could do, if you ask me right now. I'm offering it across some of the networks that I'm a part of as well to um, maybe speak at their sessions because I think it um, benefits you know, anyone from a, an entrepreneur to any, any size organisation. And I am actually now, that's why I thought I'd just share this because I am taking on new one-to-one -one clients um, because really it only takes one person to influence you know, the ripple effect of change and whether that be in your personal life or in your organisation. And otherwise there's a facilitated group type of program that's really cool for business leaders and their teams. So you know, the three vital questions is a facilitated training and is done via an online e-learning platform that I would give you access to intermingled with Zoom discussions where I would actually lead your team to actually start having that communication in a safe environment that you know I'm, I'm, I'm unbiased, I can be there and I can be there to make sure that you can start to open up the communication through a range of exercises in a one hour facilitated session whilst your people go away and do the e-learning at whatever time they want to do because it's only really oh, like say a three minute video exercises and then a little bit of um, you know, reflection and some homework each module you go through of eight modules. And I can take up to 10 people um, in those e-learning sessions at a time. There's also a full two-day workshop program, and that can be run for two days. It's been a little bit trickier with that, I imagine, you know, with people all getting away together. Um, or it could be broken down into smaller modules, depending on whether you all want to come up to Noosa and do it as a retreat, or I come down to where you are and do it as a retreat there, or break it up into you know, four times four hour sessions over a period of time, which might work really well just to expand the learning process so you can practice it all in between as well. So yeah, that's a little bit about what I'm doing. So I'm actually quite um, fueled in a way that everything that I'm doing has a really deep meaning to me. I came across the drama triangle when I was 40 and I looked at it and went, I don't know what to do with that. I better get back to work. And I left it. And you know, strangely, by becoming a coach, I got to meet David and Donna in a webinar at the International Coaching Federation. And they talked about the antidote to the drama triangle. I was like, ah, meant to be. So that's me. And just, yeah, just let me know if you'd like to explore this idea of how you can um, bring it into your life or into your work, you know, um, how you might need to shift drama. You know, I'm more than happy to have a discovery call with you, which is basically a chat. Um, you can book it online. I have an online booking button on the website and you know, in wherever posts are that I post on LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, um, or where else am I? Twitter, I am. Um, so yeah, I'm more than happy just to have a chat and we can look at it. You know, it might be something that you roll out as just do the six weeks for yourself and then see whether you'd like to actually then get your own uh, family or team members to come on board and also do it in their own their own little personal seat they can access or if it's something you want to take out across your team it could be a whole year's worth of programming that we can just create a nice rhythm so that the learning stays deep uh, so yes call or book a time and um, I would love to meet you uh, on the screen or if you're close by to Noosa uh, or on the Sunshine Coast have a coffee okay well take care and yeah that was me so that's what I'm up to Thank you. Bye for now.